today we will look at uh, modular tendency and how you as the trainer uh, will be able to take a tendency uh, for your model uh, course participation so uh, I have a course here modified and I'm going to add an attendancy and the way I would uh, prefer to organize my course is by having the attendancy coming here just after the announcement forum uh, so that the learner or the trainee will be able to take attendancy first for the session and then they can proceed to the course content so I'm going straight ahead to create an activity here so I'm adding an activity and then I will see the attendancy here usually attendancy is a um, an activity not a resource so I'm going to click attendancy and there we are so I would want to give it a name so let me give it attendancy uh, register and then you can give a small description which is also optional so but on my case I will give it a description and say uh, uh, please uh, feel okay say so please take attendancy uh, attendance serious as I keep track of this so okay that is information for my learners and then uh, you will also come to the grade here because uh, this is an activity for me that I would not wish to grade so I'll just come direct here under the point I say none so uh, that is it so for, for now so just save and display and after saving and display uh, it should bring us to a window that looks like this so now we have just uh, created an activity that is uh, the attendance but we have not added any session so what we are going to do as the trainer you need to add a session a session is uh, whereby you're going to uh, clearly indicate when and uh, what time your students are supposed to access your course and for how long so i'm going to click add session all right so here uh, all students uh, should be there all students that are enrolled in the modified course should attend so the date here is uh, from the 6th October so well um, here right now it's around uh, midnight so we already in that 7th so let me click that 7 October 2020 and from what time to what time so let me click uh, let me say from uh, 00, 0 normally uh, model takes uh, the military time so if it is midnight, it's zero zero. If it is uh, one a.m., it is one. If it is three, that is fifteen zero zero. So I'm going to pick uh, from now. Let me give it um, right from midnight. Let me pick it from midnight. Uh, uh, from midnight to zero zero up to. Let me give it myself a class of up to. Uh, let me say two. Uh, 2 a.m. That's fine. Uh, you can add a small description here as well, but uh, let me leave right at that for now. Then this is very important student recording. You might want to allow your students to automatically uh, uh, record their own attendance. So I would prefer using this option that the students record their own attendance. So I click that and I'm going to show you how this works so you may also want uh, the students to have a password as they uh, fill in the attendance but let me leave that one for now blank so let me click add okay so this is our first attendance you can hear you can see from Wednesday 7th uh, 2020 uh, regular class session and uh, remember this time here indicates that right now this class is on session so if you want to take attendance 
I click there and I'm going to have learners right now this is my new uh, Moodle uh, site that I just downloaded so I have not uh, added any any learners yet but I'm going to upload them soon so uh, let me go back a bit now uh, something else that we want we, we should add uh, let me click on settings right there something else that I want to add is stating the status under status you would want to see uh, how the acronyms that uh, will be presented to the learner so that they can be able to mark themselves present or absent so there are points here to grade their tendency but uh, since mine is not graded so i'm going to delete there and just put one for attend for present and then i'm going to have zero for all the others okay so i'm gonna click update okay that's great and uh, so that is how our our, our course at our attendance will look like so let me go back to general here yeah. all right here is our attendance so uh, if I click again on it uh, that is here it is so you can create as many sessions as you want maybe uh, you have in a week you have the same class uh, maybe twice or thrice so uh, you can keep on adding all the sessions in a month until the end of that course so you're going to have one register but it has several sessions so uh, the way it works is that you have one register per course and then you're going to add sessions uh, that will spread along the entire course. So let me add another session so you can add a session. So let me add another session for a session that will occur on the uh, 8th. Okay, still on the 7th today, but then I'm going to have it on different times, maybe from uh, 10 a.m. Uh, to around uh, 12 30. 12 30, here it is. Uh, okay, that's another session, and uh, I'm of course going to allow students to check their own attendance. And I'm gonna click add, and uh, I should be good by now. So you see, I have uh, sessions. The first session is beginning midnight to 2 a.m., and the second session is another session, a class uh, uh, session of 10, 8, 10 a.m. to 12 uh, 30 p.m. So uh, the learner will be able to access this register uh, when their session is ongoing. So they cannot come in earlier and register themselves as present. No, it will not be available. They will only be able to mark their own attendance when the session is ongoing. Like already I have an ongoing session right now, the 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. So, um, I would want to change to the student view so that we know and we see how the learner will be able to see it from their end. So, uh, all right. So here we are. Uh, this is the class that is on session. So as a student, I uh, will come here to the session. Uh, after clicking the attendance register, I should be able to see the button submit attendance. So once I get this button, I'll click on it. And here we are. You can see the options that I have present, absent, delete, excused. So the learner will be able to choose any of uh, these options here. So as a trainer, uh, this is how your learner will be able to. Uh, mark their own attendance and then they click save uh, changes.